Well, you're going to be eating good this video because, as the title suggests, it is time to laugh at other people's desperate, desperate loneliness. Pat on the back for you for clicking on this video and double pat on the back for me for facilitating it. <laughs> We're not even internet trolls. That would require some level of creativity. We're just goblins watching a dwarf get tortured in the mines. <laughs> But unfortunately, Gobblers, there wasn't enough dwarf meat to go around this video, as who'd have guessed, most people are kind of cagey about paying for sex, so there's not enough stories for that. Stay tuned anyway, because there's some in there. I'll sprinkle them through. Ah, fuck it, I'll make one chunk in there. You can skip to that part if you want. A better you starts today. Until we get to the main course, here's the entree. Some awkward one night stands. Ooh, <laughs> does that wet your beak or what? Let's find out together, cause it makes something wet. I just found out I had epilepsy. Oh, what a shocking realization. <laughs> That's so f***ed. <laughs> Maybe edit that out. Or maybe not, I don't know, it's probably gonna get worse. That might be one of the better things that he said this video. Brought a guy back to my place from the bar and proceeded to get on top and then get too overheated. <laughs> that was, that was one of the less bad things said so far. You're making worse ones. Have an aura, puke all over him. Why, cause you're like a human cocktail and then at the end, <laughs> Shaken, not stir. Get thrown off and have a seizure. That's one for the books. Yes, it is. Can't really say that it's a one night stand though, can you? Do you have to do the dirty or how far do we get into this? This is kind of like when you're 14. I had sex with Michelle last night. Uh, bullshit, you did. I did, man. I got to second base. What do we learn at PD? That's penetration. Can't say for sure. I never heard from him again. Lol, epilepsy problems. Aren't you a great sport? I like your government slogan way better than theirs. This, my disability. I was drunk as f Is there another way to have a one night stand? Is there such a thing as a sober one night stand? Apart from Prince Andrew. Went home with a girl I don't remember much that night. Man, how sad is it that everyone watching, most of your guilt-free sexual escapades, probably the most exciting part of life in your mind is just <laughs> When I woke up next morning, I vividly remember a huge piss stain on her bed. Oh, that's way better than a cum stain. Some broken glass. Jesus, I hope that wasn't a substitute for a dildo. Sounds like it might have been. And a half-eaten burger on the floor. She did make breakfast. Why, the half-eaten burger's already there. <laughs> but it tasted like shit. <laughs> I avoided it like the plague ever since. Go on! Go one more round! For the channel! She was about to go down on me, but the convo we had earlier about her casual myth use every now and then. Yeah, she would have been great at sucking. She had a pipe in her mouth at all times. Go her. And the cat vomit, at least I'm telling myself it was cat vomit. Yeah, yeah, you tell yourself that. I'd only just noticed made my little fella less than eager to perform. Mate. You are both literally and physically a soft cock. Better than me though, I'm flaccid all the time. I hadn't even gotten my pants off and simply said, I can't do this. And then I went home wondering how I ever let myself get so desperate and decided I would focus on bettering myself instead of chasing tail. Well, didn't you come to the right channel? Because not only do you get that, subscribe today, but you also get to have your experience relayed and thousands of strangers laugh at you. Best of both worlds, that's pretty good. For me, <laughs> this is the guy that keeps on giving. I got wasted. There you go, there's your topical game reference, kids. Tune in next week where I will be referencing Barbie Horse Adventures. Must have been mad seeing as I'm pretty sure it was available at Coles. After we did the sexy deed outside on the park when I was, uh, we, we don't need you to know that. After finish, uh, we're behind a bush for a piss. It was so wasted that I pulled my pants all the way down with my underwear slash boxer shorts, then proceeded to throw up after Finishing, I pulled my pants and underwear, not knowing I had been sick in them, and got sick all over my ass and balls. Dude, they took you off nappies way too early. What the f was that? Anyway, on to the main event, which will commence right after this advert. Hey kids, do you think there's more to life than waking up, not remembering having sex, and your entire bed being drenched in piss? Well, I'm here to say that, no, nah, no, nah, that's about as good as your life is ever gonna get, but it can almost get as good if you sign up to Jordan Chase for three extra videos. This is the wrong.
video to do this, isn't it? Well, anyway, it is available. You can sign up to Jordan Shanks for three extra videos a week that'll actually help your life. In the meantime, let's laugh at Desperate Johns. John number one. Someone I know got a happy ending. There's gonna be a lot of that, I can tell already. Um, someone I know. Sketchy massage parlor. By the end, the workers exclaim, you take too long, too long. Charge him 350 for it. Instead of just legging it, he paid up. Oh, what an idiot, paying for a service. I don't see how he's the morally bankrupt one in this situation at all. It seems like a really nice guy to... Hope he gets a girlfriend, preferably with one of those ladies, cause they seem to know how to do two things, rub and tack. Seriously though, I've never done the rub and tack. One, because I think it'd just be way too awkward afterwards, let alone before. But second, I don't think I could ever have a normal massage after that. It just wouldn't feel like it's finished, you know? Mm, it was a great rub, but where's the tug? Not related to the story, but the guy also bought a fleshlight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, reviews in the comments, worth it? Everyone that I've ever spoken to says, it feels like a plastic vagina. Is that a good feeling? No. Broke it in the first week. Oh, busy boy. No wonder he paid $350. That man was definitely going back. Tried to return it, his efforts obviously didn't succeed. He never went back there out of embarrassment. <laughs> Safe to say that he is the certified man myth and <laughs> legend of our group. They always are. I worked with someone who got a rub and chug once a week on a Friday night. Yeah, see, now that is a way to finish off your week. He's hyper-focused on his studies as well as work. Might be some method to the madness. Maybe if you just get one sick handy a week, you don't have 70 thanks to Brazzers. The weekly rub and chug allowed him an outlet. Yeah, see, dude, he just gets it. He's a cow ready to be meal. He said it was the only thing that got him through uni and essentially cured him, he did it for over a year and reckoned it was the best weekly $75 subscription he ever had. Yes, that's my boy. That is smart thinking. Although I don't think that it helps out anyone in uni at the moment because they wouldn't have $75 anyway. Raz as it is. Paid for it, drove behind an alley, three out of 10 head. <laughs> Got a burger in window. <laughs> yeah, not a bad Friday. Not a great one, but not a bad one. Anyway, let's just get on with these and we're already out. Now it ended threesomes. This is just gonna be people bragging about, here's how awesome my life is and how good I am with chicks. Were either of them hot? Not remotely. Me and my ex-boyfriend with a very bi female. What's a very bi female? How do you be very bi? I've got more nose rings than the average bi. Not too long into it, when I was on my back and she was sitting on my torso talking dirty about her strap-on. Jesus, I'd say she doesn't f around, but she clearly f around. And she stepped me across the face? Do you mean slapped? I'm gonna assume slapped uh, in a less than sexy way. <laughs> well, that answers that question. The sound of the slap stopped me and him dead in our tracks and apparently my facial expression was code word enough for him to quickly think, oh, is that my phone? Oh shit, we gotta go ASAP. Uh, sorry about that, thank you, bye. And we're out of there. <laughs> That's amazing. You know what that is? You know all of those straight to DVD, early 2000s teen sex romps, they always had a scene that is exactly that and you lived it. That's better than having a sick threesome story. Having a, this is definitely not in copyright breach of American Pie part two. It was supposed to be just me and him, but he dragged his, no, no. Why does everyone want to f their family? He dragged his female cousin along to the date. So I don't know what he expected would happen if it went well. It did not go well. Yeah, but the eternal question must be asked, madam. Was she hot? This is what we are learning from this channel. I can't believe that we're learning anything from these videos, but it seems that everyone wants to f their cousin. And the only explanation for it must be that the only people on earth that are hot are your cousin. I, I don't know what's going on. Took coke and pingers. See, now that is a very interesting equation. Keep that one in mind, kids. Uh, drunk off your ass. One night stand that you instantly regret. Coca Pingers, 
threesome that you instantly regret. Real life, not at all like Brazzers. Ended up in a three-way but lost my heart on about a minute in. Oh, coke dick. No, no, not now. Couldn't get it back to save my life. Ended up being told to leave. Sir, thank you for your honesty. Having said that, be too honest. <sighs> Ah, you're gonna regret that for the rest of your life. Sorry, I shouldn't be saying this in front of tens of thousands of people, but... You're gonna regret that for the rest of your life. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe. We do a bunch of these videos. They're always fun. If they're not fun, you can unsubscribe anytime. Don't unsubscribe though. Sit through the shit once. Bye. <laughs>